So now, I got this cleaned up pretty much ready for a dipping, like I said. And uh, what I did was I took some time and took this out. This is uh, to the oil fill on the side of the motor. And I took it all apart. If you notice, it's got these little clips on the top here. So the clips, I folded those back out. And I pulled this out and cleaned the inside cap, everything. Cleaned it all up nice. So now it'll go on back there good. Once it's painted, it'll be beautiful. 1928, you see that? 1928, what's that? Oh, just grease from my fucking fingers. God damn it. Um, 1928, some freaking mint shape. Okay, I love that. It's making me feel so good. I got all the springs. I bagged and tagged them. The springs and uh, the lever pieces for the brakes. Um, to go along with the other side. I got all of them bagged and tagged. So now, I had one problem though. This piece here, we'll take a little investigativeness here. This piece here, it goes to the emergency brake on the on the, I think these are the rear, yeah, these are the rear ones, so what happens is this lever turns, you pull the thing, the lever pulls, and uh, the rod inside here turns, well what was happening was, I'll show you this one here, this one here, you see what they got there, they got, they just notched the plate, to hold it and if you look it's a little off right there but this one here flows freely all the way around you know no, no hesitation whatsoever okay so that one works mint and then it's got a keyway in it you know for uh, it to stick through this big hole like, th like this and then on the other side, it gets that little arm, which goes to your armature. But this one here doesn't want to move. The uh, little piece like this um, had stretched. That groove had stretched. So what I did was I hit it with the weld. I'm not a good welder. But I hit it with the weld so it'll stay still. And I let it cool. And then I juiced it up with PB Blaster. If you see, you can see it's still seeping in there. And then in this hole, I took... Where did my tool go? I took a punch. Right. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yo, that was my toe right there. It was like that far away. I took this punch... And I tried to punch it out to because uh, I took the keyway out of it. And it should. This is where the keyway goes. And it should slide right through. But that thing is not moving at all. I may have to just cut that weld back off and order a whole new piece. <laughs> Excuse me. Because this one is definitely toast. It's, um, I think, if you look at it, it looks like it's bent in the shaft inside there or something. Where this one looks, looks not, well, I don't know. That one, oh, that's because of the keyway. Yeah, see, that one looks nice, and this one works really well, really well. well this one, not so much. So, I'm going to have to look in the Tam's book and see what they got, if they got this whole piece with that or just this piece and I have to freaking cut this out and drill it out or punch it out of there or maybe they have the whole sleeve to put in there and re-punch re because all they do it looks like if you look on this side looks like they just punch the plate to stick up a little to hold it sorry about that but, you know, what can you do? But I figured I'd weld it. It has a plenty of room if you look at this lip, you see? So, if I was to uh, 
set this in here, it would still set correctly with the weld in there. Not that you can see it, but it would still sit correctly. So that's, that looks pretty good. Looking nice. I want to get that dip stuff in and, and do that. So now I'm going to get on to these and see what they look like. Well, all right, I got started on this one, and what I did was, if uh, we take a look at this other one, I took the cotter pins out, and um, this pin is stationary, and then the other side slips off with the cotter pin, and that side doesn't even roll around, it's just stationary. So that stays there. I bagged and tagged the pieces. I took the little peg off and cleaned that. Got this pretty clean. I mean, now you can see the brakes. There's still a lot on there, but I don't know how thick they are when they're new. So I'm going to take a look and maybe I'll give Tam a call. See how thick they are, because those are pretty thick. Fuck, that's almost an eighth of an inch right there. Yeah, that is a, 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 an eighth of an inch. So, and I mean, this one is too. Just needs clean. I mean, they were nasty. Look at that cobwebs in them and whatnot, and rusty. But this one here looks much better. I gotta get some more brake cleaner. My can's just about empty, and uh, my wheel is just totally toast. Son of a bitch. But this is really clean, like I said. It came out nice. Oh my goodness, for myself. Forgot to put my gloves on in there right there. Son of a bitch. I actually had my gloves on, but I took them off to get these cotter pins out and pull these things off and uh... And I forgot to put them back on so that's what it's like so I got that piece soaking oh, it's right there. I got that piece soaking maybe tomorrow it'll be a better day you know and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the, this break here I'll, I'll finish this up now uh, to make it look like that one and then I'll get on the other two tomorrow. And I'm looking at that, and I only have one emergency brake ring. I wonder if, it, if only one side's supposed to work. I'm going to have to look at that, too. I'll have to look at that. So, once again, today, a short video of the Model A. still working on the brakes it's not an easy task you know but they're getting there and I guess these brakes here you can just order them and then re and rivet them in you don't have to buy all this you just order the padding and the rivets I guess and you can uh, re-rivet it back on there so that'll be cool at least I have all the hardware you know for what it is uh, I got a lot of the pieces, you know. Uh, I'm looking at everything, and I thought I was gonna have to replace things and whatnot. And all the pins are good. I'm gonna need some new cotter pins. That that's you know, some of these are a little trashy. Well, this one's okay, I guess, but I'd rather have all new ones in now. You know, just because you keep bending them and you keep bending them and they fucking break. You know. No day at the famous uh, New Jersey shop. I need one of these now, Dean, with the uh, with the new paint job for Frigga Sack. So. Well, let me tell you about these brakes again. If you notice, I got both sides off now. The 
what a pain in the neck. But I found out on this second one, I took the uh, cotter pin out and it came out. So I went back to the first one and I actually got it out and cleaned it out. I filed the filed it out, cleaned that. I actually cleaned all of these. Look at this, the peg, the two pieces, all nice. I mean, it's wire wheeled. I got to uh, get that stuff and dip them in it. I want to dip everything in that once I get it so far. Looks great, What'd you say? The crab grass looks great. Oh man, you just come Crab walking grass. in my shop like that? Yeah. Frig a sack. Well, hey, how's it going? I came up here uh, upstairs and I got the uh, Tams book out to uh, check out the parts for that brake, the emergency brake there, and figure out exactly what to do. Got the book here, Tams. Remember that place? Go visit him. Give him a call if you need a Model E pot. Really good guy. So anyways, what I came up with is uh, I got a couple pictures. I took a couple pictures of what's going on. The That round plate with that piece on it is called the emergency brake carrier. And uh, they do sell a little replacement piece for that to carrier so I would have to break that whole thing off the carrier and put a new one on and weld it around it that's what it says and buy a new shaft um what was it called again oh let me get back to that it was called the toggle shaft the emergency the emergency brake toggle lever but they have a toggle lever shaft housing repair kit for 10 bucks or 10.25 which isn't bad but you got to weld around that like I tacked that that one in um, I don't know if I like that idea but they also I'll throw a picture in they also have um, excuse me they also have um, the emergency carrier. And the carrier, I'll throw a picture in too. That one is uh, $83 a piece. For the left and right but i only need one so i mean if i i would rather have the original that it was on there maybe i should just buy the you guys will tell me should i keep the original carrier and buy the piece um the housing repair kit and the new brake toggle lever uh, that is 24 dollars so you're talking 24 34 dollars and $34.25 plus tax or the emergency or should I just get one emergency brake carrier uh, that's what they call it um, for $83 that would be the whole thing um, it's got new bushings are installed and everything and it's all the one piece with the little fold thing that they do I really don't excuse me I think they should be welded. Just because you you're putting your your foot on that and the oh, the bar is pulling pushing against that and uh I see that's where the uh faults may be. And um I see the emergency brake um mounting clips and all that but I have that stuff which is good I'm gonna have to get the uh, brake rods um, definitely gonna need those I have the old ones but they're just they're rusty and uh, if I take all the rust and shit off it's just gonna make them thinner and thinner I'd rather have a new one where it's thick and 
because that's the only thing that's going to stop me, you know. <laughs> that and my, and my, my little foot. And my little foot. So, hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, I added this in um, at the end. So, once again, comment, like, subscribe. Check out the links below. As always, get your hardcore, you dizzy swag. Peace.